I know this looks a lot like a study in fractal geometry. It's almost too pretty to eat. Might want to cast one in resin and use it as a centerpiece. But it is food. It's called Romanesco. I've also seen it called Romanesco broccoli, but it's actually more closely related to cauliflower. I have never seen this at the grocery store, ever. Uh, I got this from Misfits Market. Link below. We're going to do a couple things with it. We're going to try steaming some of it, and we're going to try roasting a little bit, see what we get out of those. Romanesco, coming up. A word about knife skills. I don't have any. I have essential tremors, meaning my hands shake, sometimes a little, sometimes quite a lot. My goal in chopping vegetables is to keep my bodily fluids where they belong. I'm not going to make you watch this. But it's important to know that if I can do this, you can do this. Take your time, be careful, you can cut vegetables up and live through it. So this was going to be just about the Romanesco, but um, yeah, you know, truthfully the Romanesco wasn't as wonderful as I'd hoped, so I decided to do something uh, a little more standard with it, something I do often with broccoli, tossing in some red potatoes. Red potatoes have a couple advantages. One is they, they are lower in starch than a lot of potatoes, so they hold up very well to uh, extended heat steaming or crock pots, and you don't have to peel them. I tell you, that's my kind of potato. Butter. Tossing some butter into a steel pan, and the reason I use that is that when you put the vegetables in there, the pan gets hot and helps melt the butter, so you get a really even distribution of the butter. Yeah, this isn't a very elegant way to do it. <laughs> I've, I've never found a really good way to get stuff from the um, steamer basket over into the pan. So I use a slotted spoon until I get it down to, uh, you know, a reasonable level. We're going to stir it to get that butter going. Got to add a little salt. Uh, that's about right. And we can always use some green onion. I keep green onions in a glass on the windowsill. They continue to grow. I mean, they'll grow for weeks, and you can just cut off what you need. Finally, a little bit of chopped basil. And there it is. Great little side dish. Well, the second part of this was going to be about roasting the Romanesco. And we're still going to roast it, but we're going to do something else. The thing about the Romanesco, it was good, but it wasn't, you know, life-changing good. It wasn't dramatically different from broccoli. Uh, the texture was more like cauliflower, but uh, it was a little nuttier. It was good, but I don't think it was good enough to have a standalone episode about it. So I got thinking about other vegetables. I have never roasted vegetables. H how did I get to be a rich and famous YouTube star without roasting vegetables? Yeah, well, okay, I'm not, but, uh, you know, I think it's time I learned. So I've been doing a little reading about it. Went to the store, got a variety of vegetables. I forgot to buy a garlic. Now, roasted garlic is so good, I forgot to buy one. But anyway, we're going to uh, roast a variety of things here and see how they come out. I've put a towel down because we're going to be spraying some oil and I don't want to make a mess on the table. If you've watched other videos, I finally broke down and bought a new sheet pan. Isn't that pretty? Uh, you know, the old one the old one has actually been in the family for 50 years. More than that, probably. I can't bring myself to throw it away because it was Mom's favorite. Parchment paper. Now, I'm going to do a couple different things here. In reading about roasting vegetables, uh, the oil is important. The things won't crisp up without oil. And on the potatoes, I think that's especially true. We're going to do both uh, white and reds. Can I hear your potatoes? I think I chopped up more than I need. We got some onion. Got some uh, mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Got an ear of corn. 
Oh, come here, stuff. Look, my tomatoes are getting away. Got some Brussels sprouts, cherry tomatoes. and a few carrots. The reason I left all this space on the other side here is, well, let's, let's start with this. Let's, let's spray these down with oil. <laughs> and of course the sprayer isn't working. What's the deal here? Now since this isn't working, my other idea might actually be the better way to do it. What we're doing here, I put a, uh, a uh, big baggie, a gallon baggie in here. I'm going to dump in about a, oh, maybe a quarter cup of oil. And i got to run over here and get one thing that I forgot to bring. I'm back. Along with the oil, I'm going to toss on some garlic powder. How much? I don't know. That's that's probably plenty. Now let's throw the throw some veggies in there. And we'll massage it around a little bit. That was pretty good. It was pretty well coated. Now let's see if I can find space for all this stuff. Tell you what, let's just do this. Uh, I'd say I got more than I need here, but um, you know, that's okay. Oh, I need a little oil on the corn too, don't I? Uh, I've got the oven heating up. I'm going to run the oven at 400 degrees, and what I've read said 20 to 25 minutes. That sounds kind of long to me, so I'm going to uh, start checking it at about 10 and see what we got going on. I'll be back. Okay, well hey, here we are. Uh, it did take 25 minutes. I was surprised that it would take that long at 400 degrees, but uh, it did. With a couple exceptions, the uh, cherry tomatoes were pretty much done about 15. Uh, this is one of these things that I think probably takes some experimenting to see how it really works out. Oh yeah, mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's try a potato here real quick. They're done. They taste good. I could use a little salt. That's what I should have done. I should have salted them before I did that. I wonder if I can find something here that has the uh, um, garlic powder on it. Let's try this one. Mm. That's a nice touch. Okay, well, my first try at roasting vegetables, and you know, they came out okay. They're not as pretty as I would like. I think there's probably a little bit of um, a little bit of tweaking on how this thing works. Uh, probably, you know, like the uh, Romanesco kind of charred up some of the uh, Brussels sprouts did too. So I think timing is going to be a, a kind of a critical thing. Um, potatoes clearly don't roast at the same rate as cherry tomatoes. But you know we got we got it done. It tastes great, uh, and and no mess. Look at this. I got I got you know parchment paper under here. It's gonna be super easy to clean up. And vegetables are generally pretty cheap, so it's it's an economical dinner too. Okay. Anyway, hey, thanks for being here. As always, I can use subscribers. The links down below. It really helps me out. Doesn't cost you anything. 
and it keeps the channel moving. Thanks for being here, kids. See you next video.